Shabbat Shalom. It is Saturday. It is the Sabbath day. March the 14th, 2014. Welcome, one and all, to this week's very special service on the Sabbath. Now, before we begin our sermon, we're going to be in the book of Jeremiah. We are going to be in Jeremiah 23. And I've been led to the scripture this morning. Trying a new format, so I'm standing. I do. PD has legs. I have legs, and I can stand, and I can walk. Sometimes not real well, but I can. Uh, before we begin today uh, in Jeremiah 23, I was not on YouTube uh, yesterday. I've been very, very busy. These are the end days, so I have been uh, very, very busy with my ministry, and I will be in Flint, Michigan today. Uh, I've got one more video to upload after we have our service, and then I will be passing out uh, Bible tracts and Bibles out in the city of Flint and I believe Burton, Michigan today. Let's go to announcements before we begin today's service. Join us tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time over at Tiny Chat for our live home church. Come be part of our church family. Praise and worship at 6.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wonderful, wonderful praise and worship music and a fellowship live chat room and 7 o'clock we go live. I'm going to continue on in uh, our series on the book of Revelation so we know where we are today so we do not have a spirit of fear. Now, TrumpetingOnMinistries.com is our, not mine, but our inner city outreach to the lost, to those that need to come to salvation, the sinners of the world, the prostitutes, the drug addicts, and also the forgotten, the poor, the destitute, uh, the homeless. And that's where my, my heart is. And uh, at this point, as we begin our service, I would ask for the offering. If you consider this your church, uh, we need your help. We can't do it uh, without your help. We're not funded by the state or federal government or any grants were not 501c3. So this is our YouTube church, but you are a congregation. And if you feel led, always you have to feel led by the Holy Spirit to give. Uh, and uh, all that you give goes to the need. Uh, there's so much need out there. My heart has been led to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 23. I don't have very good lighting here, so bear with me. I was led to this this morning before I begin because I don't uh, write a sermon ahead of time. I've got to be moved by the Holy Spirit. Uh, there's just so much going on. A lot that Yeshua, that Jesus spoke about, told us uh, to watch for. Not only to watch for uh, his imminent uh, return for the church, the rapture of the church, and for him to break the clouds, but kind of giving us uh, a warning of what would happen in the end days. Uh, and let's go to Jeremiah 23, because it's happening, brothers and sisters. It's happening, and a lot of the church is falling prey. Falling prey. Jeremiah 23, beginning at verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep, of my pastor, saith Yahweh. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors, that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries, whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds. And they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them. And they shall fear no more. They shall fear no more. We are not to have, amen, a spirit of fear. And it's what I see happening with the Church of Jesus Christ today. They're consumed, consumed, amen, with fear. And this is because they are being led 
to things that have not yet happened and are not yet to come. That's why I am so strong in the book of Revelation. If you would only have ears to hear, read the words of this book and understand. Those that understand and have ears to hear, there's a blessing for you. We are not to have a spirit of fear. We are not that far along in Revelation as many will lead their flock to believe. Nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more. Nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. I did a video, a lot of people, I don't know, I come to understand. A lot of people will read the headline of the video and maybe listen to the first few moments, but they don't listen to the entire video. I did a video about this massive asteroid that was supposed to come by and have an impact on March 21st. But I was showing you how the flock can be led astray, amen? And a lot of people were already on the attack of me, telling me I don't know what I'm talking about, that this was already debunked 10 years ago. I knew that if you watched the video. But I'm just trying to show you how people will lead the flock into temptation. Amen. Into fear and into dismay. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall ex execute uh, judgment and justice to all the earth. I love you. Be sure to join us tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Praise and worship live chat room begins at 6.30. Shabbat Shalom. I love you guys.